Hi guys, thank you for enrolling into my course. I am sure that you will enjoy the journey to learn the data science with me. If you have any question, please feel free to post in question and answer forum. So the first thing is to get the system running for work. Let's move on and learn to set up the working environment for this course. In this lecture, we will walk through the steps and all the things we need to have installed on the computer. In this course, I'm going to use Jupyter Notebook for teaching purpose. All the coding exercises and lectures are provided in the form of individual Jupyter Notebooks in the course material. Hence, Jupyter Notebook is recommended. It's not compulsory. Although the Jupyter Notebook is recommended, however, you are free to use whichever development environment you prefer to work with. Many experienced and even relatively new Python users use PyCharm, Sublime Text, Notepad++, Eclipse, and so on. So choose anything you prefer and work for you guys. I want to mention here that you can also download all the nodes as .py files, which is Python extension. These files are compatible with Python's IDEs or text editor. So I recommend you guys to go to the download course material link and download a copy on your computer. It includes Jupyter notebooks, data files, cheat sheets, and some reading materials. So the folder contains everything you need for this course. Moving forward, let's talk about the installation or setup process. We will work with the stable version of Python 3 through Anaconda distribution, which is recommended. However, all the nodes and syntax are compatible with Python 2 as well. Anaconda distribution is recommended because it's a piece of cake to get the Python on your system through this distribution. You will see this thing in a while. Another thing I want to mention here, if you have experience in Python and have already installed Python on your machine, instead of Anaconda, you may want to install a Jupyter Notebook via Python's package manager pip. If so, go to the command prompt or CMD on Windows, or Terminal for Mac or Linux users, and type in pip3 install Jupyter, or pip install Jupyter. pip3 or pip depending upon what version of Python you have. This is a quick and very easy install for you guys. So now for the new users, I strongly recommend to install Anaconda. One of the cool reasons is you will conveniently install Python, the Jupyter Notebook, and range of other commonly used packages for scientific computing and data science along with this Anaconda installation. So let's move on and visit jupyter.org to walk through the installation steps. We are on jupyter.org which is the official website for Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents that contain live code, equations, visualizations, and narrative text. Uses include data cleaning and transformation, numerical simulation, statistical modeling, data visualization, machine learning, and much more. This is the reason that Jupyter is a great tool for teaching data science and Python libraries. Another big reason, this is the industry preferred tool. And many job descriptions today include the skills for Jupyter Notebook as well. So if you see on the Jupyter Notebook's website, you have first option, try it in your browser. I don't recommend this option for this course. You have another option, install the notebook. If you click here, it will take you to the installation instructions. 
you see that you have an option installing Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda. It is also mentioned on this website that we strongly recommend installing Python's and Jupyter Notebook using the Anaconda distribution, which includes Python, the Jupyter Notebook, and other commonly used packages for scientific computing and data science. So the first step is download Anaconda, and the second one is install the version of Anaconda which you downloaded, following the instructions on the downloaded page. And then congratulations, you have installed your Jupyter Notebook. This is so simple installation of Jupyter Notebook and Python using Anaconda distribution. You just need to download Anaconda and need to follow the on-screen instructions to get everything done on your system. Here we are on anaconda.com. On this website, if you go to the products and Anaconda distribution, it will lead you to the software that we need to install. You have an option to install Windows, Mac, or Linux. If you download this latest version, Python 3.7, it only includes Python 3.7 in it. However, we want to work with Python 3.6. We need to get the previous version where we can have an option for Python 3.7 and all other previous Python versions. Now you have two options to install the previous versions from their website. Go to the Google and write down older versions of Anaconda. The first link will take you to the archives where you can get all the older versions. You can see Anaconda 2, 2, and here Anaconda 3 for Linux, for Mac OS X, and for Windows. I suggest you guys to install 2019-07 or 2019-03 for Anaconda 3. Both of these versions have option to create an environment in Python 3.7, 3.6, 3.5, and even in Python 2.7. I do have Anaconda 3 2019-03 installed on my Mac operating system. I recommend you guys to download 2019-03 version for your machine, whether it's Mac operating system, Windows, or Linux. I have Mac OS X, so I can download this one here. Once it is downloaded, you can install and follow the on-screen instructions. Let me tell you another way to find the older versions of Anaconda distribution from their website. You can go to the documentation, read more, click here, and it will take you to the Anaconda distribution. On your left, you have user guide. In the user guide, if you click frequently asked questions, it will take you to the questions. Now, if you scroll down, you can see here Anaconda Installer Archives. If you click Anaconda Installer Archives, it will take you to the same link that we have found through Google. Google is always convenient in this way because sometimes they change the layout of their website and it is not easier to find frequently asked questions from the website. So Google is always helpful. So once again, as I have recommended you to download Anaconda 3 2019.03 for your machine and install this on the system. Let's finish this installation and I will see you in the next lecture where I'm going to tell you how to create the environment for this course. See you in the next lecture. Good luck.